In this video, we're going to talk about how to tell if a graph represents a function using the vertical line test. So let's start with a linear function, y equals x. And this function looks like this. It's basically a straight line. So now what we need to do is draw a vertical line. Notice that the function touches the vertical line only at one point. So that means this graph is a function. Now let's try another example. So this graph is associated with the equation x is equal to y squared. Is it a function? Now, if we draw a vertical line, notice that it touches the line more than one point. It touches at two points. So therefore, this is not a function. It doesn't pass the vertical line test. Now here's another example for you. So let's say if we have a parabola. This is y is equal to x squared. Is it a function? What would you say? Well, let's see if it passes the vertical line test. Notice that it touches it only at one point. So this passes the vertical line test. Now, what if we have a circle? Let's say the equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. Is it a function? Well, we can clearly see that it's not going to be a function. It touches the vertical line at two points. So therefore, that's not a function. Now, what about this equation, y equals 3? Does it pass the vertical line test? y equals 3 is a horizontal line. And so if we draw a vertical line, it's going to pass the vertical line test. It touched it only at one point. But now what about x equals 4? Will that pass the vertical line test? So x equals 4 is a vertical line. And if you draw a vertical line on it, it's going to touch it at an infinite number of points. So that's not going to be a function. Now what about these two graphs? Let's say the square root of x and also the absolute value of x. Go ahead and try these two. Determine if they're functions or not. So the square root of x looks like this and the absolute value function is like a v-shape. So this one passes the vertical line test and so does this one. So they both represent functions. Here's another two examples that you could try. Try that one. And also this one. On the right, this is the graph for sine x. So looking at the first one, we can clearly see that it does not pass the vertical line test. It touches it at least three points for that particular vertical line. Now the sine function is a function and it passes the vertical line test, but this one does not. Now what about this function, x cubed and also the cube root of x. Now the fact that I call it a function indicates that it's probably going to pass the vertical line test. So x cubed looks like this and the cube root of x looks like that. And both of them are functions. As you can see they pass the vertical line test. And let's consider one more example. So is this graph a function? Well, we can see that it does not pass the vertical line test. It touches at two points. 
So now you know how to tell if a function or if a graph represents a function using the vertical line test.